Hello there folks, uh, today I'm going to show you how to restore deleted files on your Mac. Now if you have deleted uh, a bunch of files maybe permanently or you erase them from the uh, recycle bin, uh, don't freak out. Uh, it is possible to recover files that have been uh, deleted, permanently deleted or emptied from your recycle bin because they're still there on the lower levels of your hard drive but you just need uh, Mac data recovery software to to get them back. Uh, one thing I will say is you should act as quickly as possible if you want to get those files back although they're still there there's no safeguard to prevent them from being overwritten so I recommend downloading Mac data recovery software as soon as possible. So what we're gonna do first is go to the website www.recovering-deleted-files.net or simply click the link in the description box below. And here is the website. Uh, it's important that we're going to scroll down and select Mac Data Recovery right here. For those of you who click the link in the description box, that will bring you directly to this page and then we're going to scroll down and click download and this is going to download and uh, next you're going to install the software I already have the software so I won't be doing this step but simply follow the instructions and here is the software uh, first thing we're going to click is recover data and that's going to bring up a whole bunch of different options now this is really going to depend on um, what you need to recover and how you're doing it uh, I usually like to do quick recovery first. It's by far the fastest and uh, you can see if it's going to recover your data that way. Um, you can change this based on if you want to do photo recovery or iPod recovery. Raw recovery is more or less like a last ditch effort if um, none of these other recovery options work. Uh, also I want to show you a quick thing in the preferences. Um, if you do only want to recover, say, photos, you can actually select which types of photos you want to recover. This will really cut down on the um, how long it takes for the uh, scan to, uh, to go along. You can also change to uh, audio, so like, you know, if you just want to recover your MP3s, if you want to recover your videos, if you just want to recover certain types of documents. I would highly recommend um, selecting these in the preferences if you're just recovering certain types of files. So for the sake of time, we're just going to select uh, quick recovery because that's the fastest. And you just want to select your hard drive here and then click the next arrow button here. And here are the results. Uh, these are all the files that were, were recovered through the quick recovery option. I like to organize them by clicking here and that way you can select if you want to recover the videos, text files, photos, audio, whatnot. Uh, say you're just looking for a specific file, you can go inside and um, look for it. These are all JPEGs. If you want to recover one of these, you just click here and then click the recover button here and that will recover the file. One thing to keep in mind is that um, you want to recover the files to a directory that is on a different hard drive from the one you're currently on. So if you have an external hard drive, you could plug that in. If you have a second hard drive on your computer, you want to recover to that one because the software might not let you recover to the same drive that you're, you're scanning. Um, that's basically all there is to it. If uh, the files you're looking for aren't here. I recommend trying one of the other recovery options like deleted file recovery, formatted media, media lost file recovery, or raw recovery in the other in the uh, the previous options. Just keep in mind it's going to take a long time to scan, so you can either select uh, which files you want to recover or just scan overnight. Scan when you don't have to use your computer for a while because it might take uh, several hours. So that's all there is to it. Uh, if you need to restore deleted files on your Mac, uh, you want to do a quick recovery. And if that doesn't work, you can select deleted recovery. And remember, if you, if you only want to recover a certain type of um, file, just go into preferences and select that file. 
So by visiting the website www.recovering-deleted-files.net and selecting Mac Data Recovery or just clicking the link in the description box below, you can get a free scan and see if it finds anything. So just type in that address or click the link in the description box, try it out, and uh, see if it helps. Good luck.